This was the second meeting of experts to assess Uganda's progress in the African peer review mechanism. And among the key issues discussed was the central role that good governance can play in achieving economic development. Addressing the meeting, the Minister of State for Planning, Ephraim Kamuntu, an alleged victim of recent NRM electoral malpractices, proposed that all politicians found guilty of election malpractices be banned from participating in any elections as a remedy for a free and fair 2011 poll. Anyone found to be committing electoral offences, he should be banned from participating in future, in future elections. That would be something. He suggested that this should be institutionalized by all parties to eliminate deceitful politicians who take voters for a ride. You must focus on what remedies can we institutionalize in our parties to ensure whatever election, whether it is primary or secondary, they are free, fair and transparent. However, he at the same time praised Uganda's progress in transforming from a third world country into a middle income economy. He noted that with the right investment in energy, a skilled workforce and modern agriculture, this could be achievable in 15 years. Within the next 15 years we should be a middle income country, especially as we have discovered oil. If we manage the proceeds of oil, this transformation should happen in your lifetime. Don't allow, don't die before it happens. But the chairman of the APRM Governing Council, Zach Niringi, expressed doubts whether the country is really on course pointing at a runaway corruption and a high population explosion as major drawbacks. That we have such a high population growth rate that seems to negate the gains that have been made in economic development. The other issue he pointed out is the high dropout rates in primary schools. But this notwithstanding, Minister Kamont is confident Uganda is on course to achieving the Millennium Development Goals, with one exception, the high maternal mortality rates. Hilara Yesiga, NTV Tonight.